The trickle-down effects of last week's stay of criminal proceedings at the anti-corruption court by the Constitutional Court are beginning to be felt. This elderly gentleman, weary after an early morning bus ride from Mbali, arrived at the court in Kololo hoping for a conclusion to a relative's case. I've uh, just found that uh, the case is being uh, postponed to next month, which is uh, a bit far. His disappointment is but representative of several of the other distraught people who came expecting to see cases of relatives or clients disposed of or heard. Moreover, this morning's journey was not a one-off for Muse. This is my fifth time to come here and every time we're being told to come back. With no business the court was going to attend to, suspects were promptly returned to incarceration. Their relatives left pondering what next. In compliance with the constitutional court ruling, delivered last Friday, we have uh, stayed all criminal proceedings arising from chief magistrates and the magistrates grade one at the anti-corruption division of the high court until further notice. This response from the judiciary is in itself not encouraging to the hundreds of those affected in one way or another. But Lord Don Businja Kabumba says the development coming out of the Constitutional Court can be regarded as healthy. It really bodes well for our democracy. And, and the mere fact that it may cause uncertainty by itself uh, is not dispositive because you rather have the Constitutional Court dealing with the complex matter and reaching important determinations rather than sweep these matters under the carpet and have a number of people be brought before a court which is not well constituted. Judiciary spokesperson Elias Chisauzi seems to indicate just as well. The public must take note that even the courts can challenge their own part of their courts, so which is a growth of constitutionalism. I think so. The petition that is pending hearing and determination was filed in the Constitutional Court by a Kampala lawyer, Davis Wesley Tusingwire, through his lawyers Fred Muema and Richard Mulema Mukasa, seeking interpretation of the provisions of the law that establishes the Anti-Corruption Court. Rulings made by the Anti-Corruption Court before last Friday's development will, however, still stand and will not be affected.